getting tired now though to me i in the beginning i was like okay it's cool ha hey guys welcome back to my channel If you don't know this video, take a look how to be coming at you with a new video. Today we're talking about Love Island USA Season 5 Episode 10. Let's get right into the video. So obviously we're basically coming back to who is going home between Victor and Carmen. We were basically left off, off on top, uh, left off on a tie. And basically somebody had to change their vote. So basically we see Destiny basically deliver the news and they sent Victor home. They saved Carmen. It is what it is. Um, basically, all the guys are basically upset, you know, that Victor's going home because I was their bro. Da, 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 da. And, you know, and we find out that Destiny was the one who changed her vote to save Carmen. And basically, their reason was because the what set Victor apart from Carmen or Carmen apart from Victor is that Bergy was her potential match. Victor didn't have anybody after Carmen. Who who else was checking for Victor? No one. So that basically set Victor, you know, home because you know Bergy, you know, fought so hard for saving Carmen. He was like, oh, I want to risk it. Next thing you know, um, we see, you know, in the dressing room, we see Carmen basically was talking to him and basically said that when Bergy was like. You're such a strong woman, or can I give you a compliment? You're such a strong woman. Um, when they were having the little, you know, chat between Victor Bergman and Carmen about the whole situ friendship situation, she um, said that she was annoyed and like she didn't like that comment. She was annoyed by it, so she was telling Hannah this, and Hannah was just trying to like see if there's something gonna be there with Bergy because Hannah was also reiterating the fact that Bergy fought very hard for you to stay because of that potential match so let's see are is there something going to be going on with you and bergy and she's already saying that bergy kind of annoys her like she's annoyed with bergy so i'm just like that's so messed up you know you say this after people were split on saving you or victor that the, the reason the main reason that they saved you was so you can be with bergy or try to see if something goes with bergy and you basically just said nah like i don't even care about the guy like everybody who was trying to save victor is heated right now because you just wasted their vote you even got destiny to switch her vote and destiny was like i saved you because you had a potential match with bergy and that's what the reason like she told her straight up that's the reason why i saved you and then the fact that you're like that same night of being saved you're like oh yeah i don't really like i don't really like bergy anymore so Han Hannah was just like annoyed and you know she's later on in the episode starts telling it basically everybody behind Carmen's back like what is Carmen doing they were like she told Anna then Anna they told the other girls in the door they're like yeah like she you know she was basically just trying to find something small because when you're not interested in somebody you're just trying to find something small about them so you can just nitpick on why you don't like them and her really was the one delivering the news about the whole Carmen situation. Like she was talking to Marco and Marco was like, um, Marco and Anna. And they were like, you know, Marco was saying like he was trying to get Hannah to switch her vote. And she she was like, he was like, didn't you not realize that Carmen didn't like Bergy? And this is why I said yesterday that she was definitely not giving indication that she likes Bergy at all. Like she was not giving indication at all. So she really wasted Victor's time. Because I'm just like, if you like Victor, you should just stick with Victor. Then you uh, basically gave Bergy hope that you really liked him and you want to pursue him, things with him instead of Victor. And then you basically dug, dug um, Bergy now. So everybody's just like, why are you even here? Because Victor actually wanted to be here for a reason and you just wasted his time, wasted the whole situation. So they're kind of really annoyed with Carmen. I know all the guys really are annoyed with Carmen. And, you know, Hannah was just like, I just feel like we made the wrong decision of sending Victor home. You know, I just know that they can tell Bergie, I told you so, I told you so, or stuff like that. Because the, the guys are already, like, on Bergie already. So the fact that, you know, another thing just happened and they find out that Carmen was just saved for no reason, they're definitely going to be doubt on 
pervy for this whole situation because they really sent home one of their bros because <laughs> really all the guys really i even leonardo leonardo like he speaks spanish with victor like they both had to speak spanish with each other so i know he's a little heated too because he's just like who's gonna who i'm gonna speak spanish with and then they, cassie was like oh you can speak spanish with me and that same night anna talks to leonardo about the whole situation of him talking to cassie on the terrace and basically in that conversation she said she felt disrespected even though leonardo was trying to like explain himself she's like she feels disrespected like you know you should have told me this before you even went to go talk to her da, 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 da. and then she said that she doesn't want to pursue anything with him anymore and basically ended the whole conversation and you know he apologized da, 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 da. so that was it basically that's the end of leonardo and hannah another breakup this is only like week two and we getting breakups quickly you know she's upset with cassie cassie like in the dressing room cassie's like talking to Cass and cassie's talking to anna and basically said i want to give you some time like you can talk to me whatever and she just completely did not speak to her at all and the thing about this whole situation is that didn't anna take leonardo from cassie like the thing about it is that anna took leonardo from cassie she says later in the episode that when she was speaking to Leonardo, she was pulling, um, she was like relaying information to Cassie about what was going on and what was being said. So she wanted Cassie to do that to her. But the thing about it is that I don't know if Cassie and Leonardo had any other chats before the terrorist chat. But if she would have went home, which was Cassie, what Cassie said today, is that the only reason that they chatted is because if she potentially went home because she's in the friendship level of Bergy, she just wanted to get that off her chest. So, I mean, to be honest, if that's the only time she spoke to Leonardo, I mean, yeah, you would pull her right afterwards, but what realistic time beforehand would have Ka or Cassie be able to speak to um, Anna about this whole situation? I mean, what realistic time? Like, be for real. But anyway, I don't really feel bad for Anna. So she ended it with Leonardo. She's upset with Cassie, you know, getting cold shoulder. And the thing about it is that Cassie just saying that, saying that she came to the villa for herself. Like, this is not Friendship Island for her. You know, she's trying to find her connection, her match, whatever. So she's like, she's just trying to, you know, even though, but granted, even though when you live in a villa, you have to like, you know, try to be cordial, you know, do things in a certain way where you don't really... I guess be too messy and i the thing about it the whole situation with leonardo and cassie it was a messy situation there was a better way he could have went about it to be honest the next day basically um you know they hannah and anna pulled birdie for a chat to basically say that you know what's going on with you know carmen and what happened last yesterday so Bergy was like, yeah, Cassie told me about the whole Leonardo situation. She, they were like, oh, so she had time to discuss it with you, but she didn't have time to discuss it with her friends. So Hannah and Anna were annoyed by that. But I'm just like, if Cassie was like, whenever you get a chance, if you want to talk, let's talk. And you completely ignored her every time you walk into a room or walk into a space where she's in, you completely ignore her. But then now you're upset because she chatted with Bergy about what's going on with her and Leonardo. Like, please be for real. Like, you were, they were giving her the cold shoulder the entire night and majority of the morning. But now, because Bergy decided to, t like, say, oh, Cassie said this about the whole situation, they're upset. So later that day, I, I guess Anna or Cassie had a chat. And basically, Anna basically ended the friendship. She just like, I don't think we can be friends in here. Da, da, da. You disrespected me. So I guess Cassie was trying to, like, explain the reason why she spoke to him was that you know she wanted to you know speak to him before she potentially goes home that's why she wanted to speak to him so you know she was just like uh, trying to apologize for the situation but she was just trying to say her side for the situation anyway she didn't really want to hear cassie out she was just like yeah this is it's over and that's it she leonardo cassie chatting and they're talking they're flirting whatever and they actually kissed you know but anna pulls marco to the side and basically was like oh you know he was talking to cassie all day and i feel disrespected and da, da, da. so they were like you know he felt like you don't want to speak to him anymore so why do you feel disrespected 
but you know carmen amber her out like oh you're still in a couple you're still in a couple but if you dead the relationship with him basically said it's over i don't want to pursue things with him and he basically ended a relationship or ended the friendship with cassie why are you upset now or saying you feel disrespected again because he's talking to cassie the person that he wants to get to talk to like this is love island like what are you talking about disrespected like granted you're still in a couple but he's still going to try to get to know cassie at the end of the day so she is like it's not even 24 hours and you're just moving on so quickly well at the end of the day he still got to know cassie before he even got to know you like cassie at the end of the day was his first pick let that be known he picked Cassie first, yes, and he basically disrespected Cassie as well in the first couple of days because after the first night, he started disrespecting her and basically moving to other people. And then that's how you got Leonardo in the first place because while he was still in a couple of Cassie, he was holding your hand and flirting around and all that stuff. All the same things that you did while Cassie was in a relationship with, or in a couple of him. But now you're feeling disrespected that Cassie and him are having conversations after you deaded the whole situation. I'm just like, that's a very confusing. Like, why are you upset after the fact that you, you know, ended a whole relationship and ended your friendship? That's very s silly to me. Like, what are you doing? You know, Carmen amped her up to be like, oh, go, sp go speak to him right now. So she goes try to find, um, you know, Leonardo. And she's like, oh, I feel like you disrespected me. You know, you're moving on too fast. Da, 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 da. So he basically like apologized and then he like had like a weird face on this. Like he like looked confused. Like, why are you, I mean, if you ended the whole situation with me, like, why are you still feeling this some type of way? The thing is, it's what's so funny to me is Carmen is amping the situation up. And she was in a couple of Victor and she was literally getting to know Bergie and kissing Bergie in a competition. So what are you talking about disrespect because they're still in the couple? Did you not understand that was the main reason why Victor was upset? Because he felt blindsided about the whole Bergie situation. Like if you know, and I'm just like, if Anna knows the whole Cassie situation, why is she feeling disrespected? Because that was literally um, Carmen's reasoning on why, you know, to getting to know Bergie. She's like, I told you this. I told you that it's still Bergie. Da, 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 da. So if Anna knows all that all her cards are on the table, or all the cards are on the table that he's still getting to know Cassie and all that, and everything ended on their side. Why are you mad? Why are you feeling disrespected? Like it's very funny that Carmen is the one to amp her up about what's being disrespectful or what's not. That like that's very funny to me because you were still in a couple of Victor. You were you not still in a couple of Victor? like please please make it make sense but anyway you know cassie just like i'm here for me i'm gonna get to know leonardo you know i'm trying to see if that's my connection or not like it's whatever it's not friendship violent i'm here for me and granted you know what let messy cassie be messy cassie you know what i'm saying it is a proper way to go about doing things though but you know for entertainment pur purposes let cassie be messy cassie Let's talk about Kina and KK. So that same night after they sent Victor home, they going to sleep, the camera was on them for like 10 seconds. And I'm like, what's going on over there? You know, they're a little very suspect. This is like lust or real. And you know, KK talking about it's real and whatnot. And then later that night, you know, the hideaway is open and they got the hideaway. Looks like they might be doing something. I don't know. Whatever, whatever. So then let's talk about this whole Destiny and Harrison situation. People are very much, I guess, overreacting to it. You know, Harrison is talking to Leonardo and he's just saying like, you know, how things are going with him and Destiny. And he's saying that he's used to like girls who are very like, I guess out there and flirty and whatnot and i guess destiny at this point in time is not like that he's more of the one you know initiating the things and destiny's not like that then he also went on to say that you know destiny might be you know developing feelings for harrison even though she's not showing it and he doesn't want to lead her on 
because if he's not there yet he doesn't want her to be you know developing feelings and you know she, even though she's not showing you know her actions like she's not putting into actions like that she really really likes him you know what i'm saying so he wants her to like actually show it like actually you know demonstrate ac actions you know that he's you know she really likes him or whatnot that's what he's trying to say people basically are saying that well the whole leader her on conversation is just like okay he maybe he doesn't like her like that i don't know but i just don't think he's there yet and he doesn't want her to be catching feelings before he's there with you know his feelings because he doesn't know if he's truly liked by her so obviously leonardo's like he's gonna keep his lip mouth shut and you know they shake hands on it whatever and you know it is what it is i don't think it's like a bad conversation i just feel like if he as long as he communicates that whole situation with destiny about where he's at in the whole situation then that's good once they communicate it because they're very much good communicators they can all they obviously talk a lot so i feel like it's gonna it's gonna get communicated you know one way or another is going to be said to her so once that's communicated you know who knows what happens next but it is what it is there's going to be three new bombshells coming into the villa and i think it's kenzo emily and some other guy and i don't know they might do something damage in that villa i know they might do a little some damage in there i know kenzo i don't know who he's checking for like i don't know who he's checking for at all but Let's let's see what's going on with these three bombshells. Uh, Keenan and KK in the hideaway. The next morning, I guess bombshells are coming in. So this season is very messy. The cast is very messy as well. So it, we're in for something, something with this cast. But anyway, this is my episode ten review. And anyway, guys, if you like the video, like the video, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns, and subscribe to my channel, subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace.